pro-democracy activists in Hong Kong have returned to the streets for their first big rally since mass protests last year. A large police presence was enforced to deter protesters from reoccupying key areas of Hong Kong. But protesters were not reported to be planning a repeat of the occupations that shut down parts of the city. Last year's Occupy demonstrations called for fully democratic elections for the territory's chief executive. China has promised the semi-autonomous territory direct elections in 2017, but ruled that candidates had to be vetted by Beijing. Tens of thousands started taking to the streets in September 2014, demanding change. There were violent clashes with police, and the final protest camp was dismantled in December. One organizer, Daisy Chan, told the AFP news agency the latest protest show last year's demonstrations were a watershed for Hong Kong. In the past years, these citizens were less political than they are right now. The Occupy movement woke people up. The rally continues to call out to people to join the democracy movement. However, Lam Woon Kwong of the Executive Council, Hong Kong's top policy-making body, told local radio on Sunday, you can't threaten the central authorities. The numbers attending will give a sense of the stomach left for the fight in Hong Kong, the BBC's John Sudworth says. About 2,000 police officers were expected to oversee the event, the South China Morning Post reported. Police were wary of reports that there were no plans for protesters to reoccupy public areas, issuing a statement saying, it is believed that those supporting the illegal occupation are likely to seize the opportunity to reoccupy roads which have been now reopened to traffic.